Hello, sweet Dazzle Dreamers. It's Julia Alter from Seize the Dazzle Studio. I am currently in residence at my grandmother's house, as you can possibly attest by these lovely globes of light behind me. Anyway, today is day three of National Poetry Month, and I'm pleased to be bringing you Ingrid Wendt's poem, The Simple Truth. Um, it goes like this. There's an epigraph from Rilke. Write only if you must. The Simple Truth by Ingrid Wendt. Not often this luxury, hours of writing time, blessedly stretching, bright tail of a comet over my desk. This invitation to hop aboard and ride, look down at my words from some stratospheric perspective, time to say what I see and be clear. Still, some days I'll do almost anything else. Wander the house, tackle the ironing, dusting. I'll shuffle this pile of papers, those books, to another more sensible place, as though the hand could fix what the eye cannot. A way to tend to all sides of each case, as if waiting. That underground river might lead to one word, joining all versions, all multiple impulses, all known ways of perceiving. And what do I get? Tributaries, silting the honest depths of feeling. One of my therapist friends, no doubt, has a name for this. Yesterday, speaking of clients, she used the word closure, meaning what you aim for when something is still unresolved. How I envy her strict vocabulary. How I envy her strict vocabulary. Words like signposts, lighthouses. With them, some people know where they are and go on. How I would like to call myself constant, faithful. To know if this obsession or really the simple truth knocking to get back into the world. One shining leap out of the water that doesn't fall back. One trail of a shooting star visible clear to the end. La how, like a child spelling the secret of sparklers. How, like a child spelling the secret of sparklers, letter by letter. I would write all of its bright golden name in the air. That was by Ingrid Wendt in the essay anthology Mama Phonic by Soft Skull Press 2005. The poem was called The Simple Truth and it's an honor to read it. If you'd like to hear more poetry every day please go to seizethedazzle.com and subscribe so I can send you these poems every day. It's my pleasure to read them. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.